Now, when you first see this question, you may think it's very complicated and very difficult to do, but it's not really. What it does require, though, is a careful and systematic working out of various options in order for you to find the uh, correct option that is going to give you the voltage that is required. So they tell you that you're given three single phase 6 to 110 volt transformers. Okay, so that is just another way of giving us the turns ratio of the coils. And uh, there are tappings on the secondary side of the transformer at negative 20%, 100% of the full, or, 100, or, the, or the full voltage, and plus 20% of the voltage. They tell us that the supply voltage is 600 volts, and they ask us how must this three-phase transformer, these three single-phase transformers be connected together to form a single three-phase transformer, how must that be done to obtain an output voltage of 228.63 volts? And they tell us that the star point must be brought to earth potential where applicable. All right. Well, um, as I say, this might look very difficult to start out with. When you see these kinds of questions, basically, you've got uh, to list the information that they've given you. So we've got three single phase transformers, which we're going to connect into a three phase transformer. We've got a transformer that is a step down transformer. We know it's step down because uh, primary to secondary is 600 to 110. That is the voltage ratio or the turns ratio. We know that uh, the uh, voltage ratio um, on the phase, okay, primary to secondary, is 600 to 110. And so that is really just another way of saying that the number of turns on the primary to the number of turns on the secondary is 600 to 110. We know that there are taps on the secondary side. That's going to be important for us. Some questions, the taps will be on the primary side, but the process of finding out uh, the correct connections is going to be exactly the same. We've got a 20%, a minus 20%, 100% or full voltage, and plus 20%. Uh, we're told that the line voltage on the primary side is 600 volts, the supply voltage. Remember, supply voltage is another way of saying line voltage. And we are asked to find the connections so that we can find the line voltage on the secondary side uh, being 228.63 volts. How do we have to connect this all together so that this is our secondary line voltage? Well, we've got four options. We can connect this transformer primary to secondary as star star, as star delta, as delta star, or as delta delta. Those are the only four options that we've got. Um, and so basically, doing these kinds of questions requires us just to investigate each of these options and find out which option, which connection option is going to give us the target voltage. We're going to use what's called the ratio method. And the first thing that we need to do is work out the voltage ratios at each of the tappings that we've been given. So a good way to do this is to divide your page into columns and uh, just head them with regard to the tappings that you've been given. So let's start by looking at the 20% tapping. So in this case, the primary to the secondary turns ratio is going to be the voltage um, of the primary, uh, the, the primary phase voltage divided by the secondary phase voltage plus 20% of that voltage. So that is equal to 600, uh, that is the primary phase voltage, plus 110, which is the secondary phase voltage, plus 20%. Now we know uh, that we can use 600 and 110 because that was the ratio, remember, that we were given. So this then becomes ratio of primary to secondary, 600 uh, divided by 110 plus 20% of the 110. Now to work that out, that's very simple. That's 0 0.2 times 110. So you calculate this entire fraction 
and you get a ratio of 4.54545. Now, normally, uh, you know, two or three decimal places is going to be enough, but just for completeness, I've uh, taken the first five decimal places. Okay, so that is the ratio that we would get um, for the voltage but, uh, at the tapping of plus 20%. Let's have a look at the voltage of 100%. So once again, the primary to the secondary turns ratio is equal to the primary to the secondary phase of voltages. And in this case, it simply is 600 uh, divided by 110. And so that gives us a primary to secondary uh, ratio of 5.45454. You can see that the ratio is slightly different. Just a quick note, the reason why the ratio is a number greater than zero is because we're looking at primary to secondary. Primary to secondary. This is a step down transformer, so that makes sense. If we were to flip this ratio around, well then we would get a ratio that is less than one. Now it doesn't matter which way around you do these calculations, primary to secondary or secondary to primary, so long as you are consistent all of the way through. If you start primary to secondary, you need to continue primary to secondary. Okay, let's have a look at the minus 20% tapping. Well here uh, we've got the uh, phase voltage primary divided by the phase voltage secondary minus 20%. Well, that's 600 divided by 110 minus 20% 20 of 110. And as I said, that's 0 0.2 times 110. So you calculate this fraction and the ratio you get is 6.81818. Okay, so you've got three ratios. Now, the next step is to look at the actual voltages that we are given and that we want and see if we can find a ratio that is the same as one of these. So let's start with the two simpler cases, delta delta and star star. Okay, so in the delta delta case, we know that the uh, primary line voltage is going to be equal to the primary phase voltage because on the primary side, we have a delta connection and that is equal to 600 volts. How do we know that? Because that's what we have been given. We know that the secondary line voltage is going to be equal to the secondary uh, phase voltage uh, because the secondary side is also delta and that we know is equal to 228.63 volts. Remember, in delta connections, um, the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage. So in both cases, line voltage is equal to the phase voltage for both primary and secondary because the primary is delta and the secondary is delta. Uh, that is the input voltage and this is the required output voltage. So if we work out what, well, what is that ratio? Well, the uh, phase voltage primary divided by phase voltage secondary, again I'm going primary to secondary, primary to secondary. I did my first set of ratios primary to secondary, so I need to continue with primary to secondary. Well, that's equal to 600 volts divided by 228.63 volts, and so that's a ratio of 2.62432. Right, let's do star star. Now remember in star, the um, line voltage is going to equal the phase voltage multiplied by the square root of three. So the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage times the square root of three in the primary side of the transformer. Remember the primary side is being connected star. So therefore the uh, phase voltage on the primary side is the line voltage divided by the uh, square root of three. And similarly the line voltage on the secondary side is going to equal to the phase voltage on the secondary side multiplied by the square root of three. And so the phase voltage on the secondary side is going to be the line voltage on the secondary side divided by the square root of three. So let's once again find the ratio of uh, phase voltages primary to secondary. Well, we can see that it is the line voltage primary, which is 600 divided by the square root of three, all divided by the line voltage that we require on the secondary side, 228.63 volts again, divided by the square root of three. Now I hope that you can see what we're able to do now. This fraction divided by the square root of three 
divided by this fraction, divided by the square root of 3, well, we can get rid of the square root 3s. Let me just quickly show you how this works. Uh, so we have 600 volts divided by the square root of 3. We are dividing that by 228.63 volts divided by the square root of 3. Now, this is the same thing as saying 600 divided by the square root of 3 multiplied by this fraction turned upside down, the inverse of this fraction. Square root of 3 divided by 228.63. Uh, the square roots, you can see, cancel out. Another way of saying that is that square root of 3 divided by the square root of 3 is another form of 1. And when we multiply anything by 1, well, we don't change the value of that thing. So this is just 600 divided by 228.63. Now, can you see that that is exactly the same ratio as we got for delta delta? So we know that that is also equal to 2.62432. And that is true all the time. The delta delta connection will always give you the same ratio as the star star connection because the star star connection, the kind of the, th the root threes cancel out while we are doing our calculations. So you don't need to do delta delta and star star. You can do one or the other and whatever value you get for the one will hold true for the other. Now normally it's easier to do the uh, delta delta connection because you don't need to worry about the square root 3 because the line voltages are always equal to the phase voltages but you could choose to do the star star and you can then just transfer whatever value you do get over to the delta delta uh, calculations. Okay so we've done two of our four options let's do the other two. Let's do delta star. Okay delta star the primary is delta and so we know the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage, which is equal to uh, 600 volts. But the secondary side is in star. So the line voltage is going to equal to the phase voltage multiplied by the square root of 3. Or in other words, the phase voltage is equal to the line voltage divided by the square root of 3. So let's once again find our ratio. It's always, in our case, we've chosen to do primary by secondary, so it is 600 volts divided by 228.63, which is the line voltage, divided by the square root of 3. And if we calculate that, we get 4.54545. Now, that might ring a bell, and we'll see why in a moment. Let's do star delta. Okay, star delta, the primary side is in star, so the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage multiplied by the square root of 3. In other words, the phase voltage is equal to the line voltage divided by the square root of 3. But the secondary side is delta, so the line voltage is simply equal to the phase voltage, which we know is 228.63. Do our ratio again. Once again, it's primary to secondary. So the phase voltage is the line voltage, 600 volts, divided by root 3, all divided by the phase voltage, which is the same as the line voltage, which is 228. 0.63 volts. Simplify that fraction and we get this as our final ratio, 1.51516. Now at this point I'm just going to list all of the results that we have gotten so far. Okay, so from our tappings we got that the 20% tapping would give us that ratio, the 100% tapping, the full voltage tapping, gives us that ratio, and the minus 20% tapping gives us that ratio. Again, all of these ratios, remember, are primary to secondary. The delta delta gave us 2.62432. That is not the same as any of those. The star star gave us the same value, not the same as any of those. The delta star gives us 4.54545. Ah, that is the same as the 20% tapping ratio. And star delta gives us a completely different ratio also, none of the above. So the correct configuration that we need is a delta star configuration using the 20% tapping, because both of those give us the exact same ratio. If you find that your calculations don't result in two ratios that are the same, go back and check 
that you haven't made any silly mathematical calculation errors. Okay, so we know that we need delta star, and we know that we need to use the 20% tapping. Uh, let's draw out what this is going to look like. Okay, so on the primary side, we know that this is a delta connection. Uh, in other words, A2 is going to connect to B1, B2 is going to connect to C1, and C2 is going to connect back to A1. And there we've got our three lines, line one, line two, line three. So that is a fairly simple drawing. On the secondary side, we have a star configuration. And we know that uh, A2 is going to connect to B2, which is going to connect to C2. Here are our lines, line one, line two, line three. And importantly, our center tapping point, A2 connected to B2 connected to C2, is going to be where we draw our neutral and where we can ground our uh, transformer connections. Also importantly, I've showed, shown here in my diagrams that we have three tappings. We've got the minus 20% tapping, we've got the 110 volt or 100% tapping, and we've got the plus 20% tapping. And I've shown in my drawing that in each case we are using the plus 20% tapping. So primary is delta, secondary is star, and we're using the plus 20% tappings in each case.